what we're doing today is going to start a brand new beehive. This is a three pound package of bees from California and it's got about 9,000 bees in there. It's got one queen and uh, we'll put the queen in first, put the bees around her so they do what they need to do and uh, in a couple months there'll be 60,000 bees inside the hive so this small colony will grow to about 60,000 bees by July or August. The What you see on top of the uh, package is a can that's got sugar water in it and that's what they eat when they're being shipped from California and the little tab has the uh, cage that the queen is going to be sitting in. And this is the base of the hive and this, this is what it'll sit on and uh, gets it up off the ground a little bit. Make sure it stays dry so there's actually two pieces to this. And the front part of this is sloped. It gives the bees a place to land and then walk into the hive. So now I'm going to put it on the pallet and get ready. So you've leveled these pallets? Yeah. I dug a hole. I dug a hole and put the pallets in and made them level. And that's where that sits. And then this will be the, the home for the new bees. This is their first hive. That's going to go right on top of there. And this is what's inside of it. So this is, this is the top cover. It comes off. And these are the frames that the bees will fill with the honeycomb and the honey. And that's what they eat in the winter before I take off my honey. It's plastic. You can also get them made out of beeswax, but they're much more fragile. The plastic is very durable and the bees don't care. So I just huh. I just stay with the plastic. And they just build their little honey cover. Yeah, they'll pull it out. This will be about a half an inch thick on that side. And on that side, when they've already built their days I put these back in the hive and they're ready to go. So now we're getting ready to go into the hive and I'll put on my hood, seal it up. So I'm put my gloves on. It's got nice soft leather gloves themselves so I can really feel what I'm doing and work on it that way. And this is the hive tool. It's one tool that you use to do everything. Pry uh, the various frames apart. You can get in and do everything you need to do with this one tool. It's called a hive tool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to whack the hive or package and let the bees all fall to the bottom. Then I'm going to pull the can out. Then I'll pull the queen container out, fix that up, and put that in the hive. They don't like that. The other thing I'll do is spray a little sugar water on them. So it'll, they'll be thinking about eating instead of what's going on here. Okay, so here's the cage with the queen in it. You can see she's inside there. What we're going to do is pull out the cork and put a piece of candy over it. And the bees will eat through this candy and let her out of her cage in a couple days. So I'm going to put the queen inside the hive. Now we're going to dump the rest of the bees into the hive around her. And the ones that don't come out will just sit in front of the hive right here. And they'll come out and they'll go right into the hive. And you can see there's a couple of bees that have landed on me, but they're just curious. 
they're just trying to figure out what's going on. So now we put the hive cover back on. And we have a new hive of bees. This is where they come in and out. Okay. And when they're brand new, uh, that's a lot of an, a lot of area for them to protect. So you put on this entrance reducer and put it right there, and that means they only have to protect that much instead of the whole thing. It just makes it a little bit easier for them in their brand new home. This is the sugar water that I'm going to let them eat. When you start a new hive, you have to give them some food since there's no flowers out yet. Okay, so there's holes in the top of this and when I turn it over a little bit of the sugar water will leak out but hopefully not very much and then they'll find it and they'll come and start eating. There we go. The other thing to describe here in Colorado we have a problem with bears so I have an electric fence here that's hooked to this charger that sends out a zap of electricity and it keeps the bears away because they touch it with their nose and they have soft feet that are on the ground and they get zapped. So uh, it keeps the bears away and they come out about this time of year. This actually puts out 9,000 volts but it's a real short pulse width so it doesn't doesn't hurt the bear, doesn't hurt children or pets or anything like that. So now that we're finished we can turn it on and we're safe from bears. And it's popping, so we know it's working. So what we're doing this morning is I requeened this hive. It's a new hive, and I think the first queen didn't make it. So I got another queen, put it in there three days ago. And I'm uh, to get her acclimated to the hive, I left the cork in her little container, shipping container. I'm going to get in there this morning, pull the cork out, and let her crawl out. So the bees will be acclimated to her because she's been sitting in there for three days. It'll be a quick process. Here's the queen uh, cage right here. So what we're going to do is spread this apart a little bit so we can get at it. Actually, I'm going to take one out and spread it out even more. What I don't want to do is have have the queen fly away. We'll pull out this frame right here while we're sitting here before I do that. Well, those guys have already made uh, Look at that. five on there. Yep. That's really good. They're looking good. Hello, bees. Okay, you're going to get a new queen now. Here we go. Yep, she's in there. Okay. And we just hang it right back down in there. She can crawl out. Now she'll come out and she'll be the mother to all the rest of the bees in the hive. She'll start laying eggs. 